Hey guys, so I know I don't ever say this because I don't like to brag or anything, but I'm probably the most romantic person I've ever met in the entire world ever. If anything, I always say in my videos that I'm actually the opposite, that I'm not romantic, but I really am. I'm, I'm a womanizer, which means I'm a, I'm a Britney Spears song, apparently. That's crazy. Oops. Did it again. As I was saying, I'm a very romantic person. I literally do all the things that girls want. For example, I open doors. Oh, you want me to drive? Of course not. I'm a gentleman. Just get in. Oh. Okay. I bring her flowers. Hey, I got you something. Oh, um, another cartoon flower. But I remember this time, I remembered, I got your real ones as well. Oh, you did? Yeah, here you go. Oh. See? Are they like realistic? I pull out her chair. Oh, thank you. Have a seat. And I know nobody even does this anymore, but I'm such an old school romantic that I even take her jacket. Whew. Oh, that is cold. Here, uh, let me get this. Oh, actually, I'm kind of cold. Uh, no, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, that's way better. Should I get your jacket since you took mine? No, I'm good. Come on, let's go. You see? Shivering is not dead. Or something like that. Anyway, if it isn't already incredibly obvious that I'm clearly joking, I'm horrible when it comes to romance. And I honestly believe it's because of romantic movies. They set the bar too high for the rest of us. Hollywood does the same thing every year. They take this best-selling romantic novel, turn it into a movie, all the girls in real life go and see this movie, fall in love with the main guy who's impossibly perfect and makes it impossible for the rest of us to compete. And when I thought about it, it actually gave me the idea that well, I should do that. So I did. Here's a little trailer representing pretty much every single romantic movie ever made. Except for the fact that it's not based off of a novel. And of course, again, it's not a real movie, it's just a trailer. And also the main guy is me, which is, well, obviously that would never happen because, you know, look at my eyes. Hollywood would never cast somebody with eyes like this. Because, you know, I have bad eyesight, and if you had eyes like this, you wouldn't be able to read the script. And also, I mean, let's just be honest, Hollywood would never cast somebody with my type of race, you know, with my kind of jeans. Because, I mean, if there was like a running scene or something, you know, I would never be able to look at these things. These jeans are way too big to race in. And of course, the most obvious reason that Hollywood would never cast someone like me is because, well, I'm white. With that being said, here's pretty much every single romantic movie ever made. Take a look. When an obviously older than 20 year old high school boy moves to a new town. You're gonna love it here, sweetie. Friendships will be made. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm friend one, friend two, friend three. What's up, Brian? Hey, do you guys know who that girl is over there? Yeah, hot chili, the hottest girl in school. Tall, blonde, beautiful. I was actually talking about that girl over there. Do you guys know who that is? Yeah, you don't wanna mess with that. What do you mean? She's kinda weird, man. She doesn't talk to anyone, she just plays with coal all day until fate conveniently brought them together. Welcome to Chemistry 101, I am Mr. Fate. Today you'll be pairing up for the rest of the semester. Ryan, why don't you hook up with Katie? What? Hook up with Katie, be your partner. Really get to know each other so that you two can create some chemistry together. Um, just don't start Frenching in my class, okay, you two? <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't planning. Because it says here you two also have French class together with Mr. Wingman. Oh, right. But yeah. You two should probably find Deep secrets will be discovered. Hey, so, um, I know you don't talk that much, but I was just wondering if maybe we should meet up after school to work on our magnet project. My mother was a coal miner, but she died in a coal mine after it caved in, and now I'm emotionally distraught, and the only thing that makes me happy is carving figurines out of coal because it reminds me of her. Okay, um, I wasn't really asking you about that, I but... I just saved you an hour of the movie. Two opposites will attract. So, since my magnet is positive and yours is negative, it should be able to attract, like... Like you. What? I like you. You... Like me. Like you. Oh, you were talking. You were talking about the magnet. Uh, sorry. I Doors will open. This is where I make all my stuff. Wow, these are actually amazing. You could sell these. That's not why I make them. With a cute montage to show how perfect they are together. Beautiful moving shots of inanimate objects. Corny lines for teenage girls to quote on Facebook. Love is like a fart. It's warm, predictable. Sometimes it stinks, but it can also be the best feeling in the world. That's why I'm so happy I passed you that day. I know now. I fart you. And some insignificant fact that will probably make sense at the end of the movie. Hey, can I ask you something kind of random? Sure. Do you believe in miracles? No, I don't think so. Why not? I guess I've just never seen one happen before. But just when everything seemed perfect. Ryan, I need to tell you something. What's up? Why are you being all serious all of a sudden? I'm sick. Yeah, you're the sickest. No, I mean, I'm ill. Like I said, you're the illest girl I know. No, you don't understand. I'm terminal. 
your terminal. But we're not even at an airport. <laughs> Conflicts will start. Just talk to me. Just open the door. Leave me alone. All you care about is your stupid cold. Get out. Get out. Just open the door. Then go away and leave me alone. Stand the hell away from my daughter. Friendships will be tested. Yo, you need to stop hanging out with her, man. People are starting to talk about you guys. I don't care, man. You're right, you don't. The only thing you care about is her. Come on, friend one. Friend one! Lies will unfold. Wait, what do you mean I'm adopted? Rain will fall. From the people who brought you a walk to remember, The Notebook, and Paranormal Activity, RHPC presents... You sculpted something. Yeah, and it's out of coal. But why a mirror? So that every time you look into it, you'll see that you, you are my miracle. The miracle. I fart you. I fart you too. But I'll see you in another life. Wait, what? Directed by Michael Bay. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see bloopers and behind the scenes, click the one on the left. If you want to see the previous video, click the one on the right. And thank you so much to Arden for being in this video. If you want to check out her channel, click the one on the bottom. With that being said, I'm going to bed. Peace. That's from a video. I don't know what video that is from. I don't know.